Finding slopes given two points. Finding slope given two points. To find the slope given two points, or two ordered pairs, you're going to use the formula y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. The little 2's and 1's um, simply are going to tell us that the y sub 2 and the x sub 2 are going to come from the same ordered pair and the y sub 1 and the x sub 1 are also going to come from the same ordered pair. So the y sub 2 and the x sub 2, these are x and y values from one ordered pair and the y sub 1 and the x sub 1 are going to be x and y values from the other ordered pair. Remember, so far we've talked about slope as rise over run. We've also talked about slope as the change in y over the change in x. So y's are going to have to go on top and x's are going to have to go on the bottom to keep the slope as rise over run. Remember, y tells you how to move up and down in the coordinate plane and x house tells you how to move to the left and to the right in the coordinate plane. The first example says, what is the slope of the line through negative 3, 2 and 1, 5? There are going to be two valid ways or correct ways to plug these values into the equation y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. One way to plug them in would be to have 2 minus 5, notice those are my two y values, over negative 3 minus 1. Notice 2 and negative 3 are both coming first on top and bottom, and they come from one ordered pair. And then 5 and 1 are coming second, both on top and bottom, and they come from the other ordered pair. Now all we have to do is go ahead and subtract the two values. 2 minus 5 is negative 3, and negative 3 minus 1 is negative 4. If you remember, if you thought of this as division, a negative over a negative is going to be the same as a positive. So negative 3 over negative 4 is the same as a positive 3 over positive 4. I said that there were going to be two valid ways to correctly plug in your coordinates. The other way that we could plug this in would be to go ahead and put 5 first on top. So if we have the y values um, flipped and we have it as 5 minus 2, then the x values have to, 1 has to come first because 5 is first on top. So we have 5 first on top, so 1 is going to be first on the bottom, minus a negative 3 because 2, the y value in that ordered pair, is the second va value and negative 3 has to be the second value as well. Well, 5 minus 2 is 3, and remember, and when we're subtracting a negative, that's the same as adding. So on the bottom, we actually have 1 plus 3, which is 4. So this slope, when you plug in the uh, values this way, is positive 3 over positive 4. Notice that plugging them in, it didn't matter which way we plugged them in, as long as we were using the equation correctly, we get the same slope of 3 over 4. The next example says, what is the slope of the line through 50, 0 and 32, 6? Our y values in this case are 0 and 6. Our x values are 50 and 32. Again, there's going to be two correct ways to plug these numbers in. The way that I'm going to plug them in first, I'm going to have 0 minus 6 over 50 minus 32. Notice 0 and 50 are coming from one ordered pair, and 6 and 32 are coming from the other ordered pair. Well, 0 minus 6 is negative 6, and 50 minus 32 is 18. So we have negative 6 over 18. Remember, when we are writing our slope, we do want to put it in simplest form. If you notice 6 and 18 are both divisible by 6. So I can simplify a negative 6 over 18. I can divide both 6 and 18 by 6 
and get a negative 1 over 3. The second way that I could plug these um, coordinates in to the equation, I could rewrite this and say 6 minus 0 over 32 minus 50. Notice 6 and 0 are still on top because they're my y values, but now 6 is in front, is first, and 0 is second. Because I've switched the y values, I also have to switch the x values. So because 6 is first on top, 32, the corresponding x value, has to be on bottom first. And because 0 is second on top, 50 has to be second on the bottom because they are corresponding x and y values. When you um, solve this, 6 minus 0 is, zero, uh, is 6, and 32 minus 50 is negative 18. Again, I want to write this in simplest form, so I'm going to have a positive 1 over a negative 3. Remember, in your slope, it doesn't really matter which one is negative and which one is positive. As long as just one of them is negative and one is positive, that means that the whole slope is going to be considered negative. So the first one we got negative 1 over positive 3. The second one we got a positive 1 over a negative 3. But that is the same thing. The last example says what is the slope of the line through negative 10, negative 8, and 6, 0. Again, there are two correct ways to use the equation. The first way I did was negative 8 minus 0 over negative 10 minus 6. Negative 8 minus 0 is just negative 8, and negative 10 minus 6 is negative 16. Remember, a negative over a negative is going to be considered a positive, and I can simplify 8 and 16. 8 can go into both of them, so simplified, this is going to be a positive 1 over 2. I can also use this um, formula, and I can say 0 minus negative 8 over 6 minus negative 10. Both of these are going to have a double negative, which means that they're both going to be plus a positive. So instead of 0 minus 8, minus negative 8, I'm going to have 0 plus 8, which is 8. And instead of 6 minus negative 10, I can think of this as 6 plus 10, which is 16. Again, just like before, 8 and 16 do have a common um, can, can be simplified. 8 goes into both of these, 8 and 16, so it does simplify to 1 half. Again, it didn't matter which one came first as long as my corresponding x and y values were in the same position on top and on bottom.